Hey and welcome to Digi Pro Tips. I'm Andy Evanson and here we work smarter and not harder, which is why today I want to talk to you about how a Wacom tablet could make you a better editor. You did hear me right and that's because a Wacom tablet, in my opinion, could lead to a better video editing pace, efficiency and ultimately more time to be creative which are all things that lead to being a better video editor. Now, how do I know what I'm talking about? Well, I've had a career that has spanned feature film, TV news, and digital content production for social media platforms. Now, across that career, I've picked up a few tips and tricks along the way that I'm sharing with you now. So it's worth knowing that I've used a Wacom tablet for pretty much the majority of that career. And I do stand by the fact that they are a amazing time saver when it comes to video editing. What is a Wacom tablet or graphics tablet if you've never come across one before? Well, a Wacom tablet is essentially a pen or a stylus like this one that has a nib and a couple of buttons on the top and then also a tablet like this one which when used with the stylus acts as a mouse cursor and has a pressure sensitive nib in the top end of it so that you can draw different pressured strokes on Photoshop for example but I'm using it more for video editing so being able to map my uh, cursor points to my screen real estate is a massive advantage over a mouse. You can get these in varying different sizes and which one you'll choose is dependent upon the size of screen real estate that you need to be able to map. We'll get onto that a little bit later on. So how do they work exactly? It's pretty simple really, but the screen is mapped onto the surface in the in your computer, onto the surface of the tablet. So wherever you point your nib is where the mouse cursor is gonna end up on your screen, which means you're not having to drag that mouse around. It, you can go point to point to point, and that's a real time saver. Now the stylus itself has a clicker at the end here, which is pressure sensitive, as as I said, um, and some buttons that you can assign whatever you want, um, a right click, a scroll feature, a left click, whatever you want it to be, you can assign it to it. And it only works with the tablet that you've got. Um, Wacom's specifically, um, they have magnets inside of here so that it creates an electromagnetic field that is instantly recognizable by the tablet. There's no batteries in this thing, you don't need to charge it. Um, and there's no latency either, it's instantaneous, which is fantastic. It's so good to use, you really do have to try it. Now you're probably thinking, okay, that's great, now I know about Wacom tablets and how they work and what they do, but how is this gonna help me with my editing? Well, it all comes down to microsecond savings. Yep, that's right. It all comes down to math, really. I've talked about it before in different articles on the website and in videos, but the efficiency of a video editor comes down to the decisions they make and how quickly it takes them to make them and then enact them. Professional editors will hardly ever touch a mouse if they can help it at any cost. They will have hundreds of keyboard shortcuts mapped to their keyboard, but also mapped in their brain so that they are it's second nature to them. They don't even need to think about it. They will press keys to make things happen on the timeline without having to go to the mouse. By not using your mouse, you are saving time. And this is this is the crucial thing here. This is working smarter, not harder with time. Because time enables you to be more creative, having more time, and it also allows you to deliver to a client faster. Professional editors work in high pressured situations and having the ability to make a decision, split second decision, and being able to make that happen without having to think about it. That is a professional editor, and they usually use the keyboard. Now, why am I talking about the keyboard when I'm trying to talk about a Wacom tablet and a stylus? Well, it comes down to that ability to not have to use your mouse. And this is another one of those things. If you do need to use your mouse, and when you're starting out, 
you definitely, definitely do use your mouse a lot. Clicking and dragging is how most video editors start before they get to know all of the keyboard shortcuts. A mouse is where you will start and if you can avoid having to use a traditional mouse and dragging around and instead you can use a Wacom or a graphics tablet, you will save time, you will become more efficient and you will ultimately be more creative. You will get there faster than somebody who is using a mouse. I know I've seen it happen and a Wacom beats it every single time. And the reason why I think this is better than a mouse is because of the way that it is mapped to your screen real estate. You don't need to drag around on the surface of a tablet. You can literally point and click because wherever your nib lands on the surface of the tablet, it will go to that point on your computer screen, as you can see now. If I'm over here in the top left of my graphics tablet and then I switch over to the bottom right, the cursor didn't drag over there, it just instantly went over there. So when you're on your timeline and you're wanting to go over to your effects panel, you want to go to uh, your source monitor, whatever it is, and you want to grab that and drag it down here quickly, and you want to go over to this part, this part, this part, this part, this part. You're not having to drag, 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 drag. You're going bam, 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 bam. Yeah, you're doing it very, very, very quickly, and it's saving microseconds worth of time. So, let's do the math. If you are saving half a second, just half a second per mouse movement by using a stylus, and you might make a thousand maybe cursor movements that's probably conservative actually a thousand cursor movements in an edit session well that's saving you 500 seconds over that edit session that's eight minutes worth of time now eight minutes might not sound a lot but for a high pressure environment that editors find themselves in every single day eight minutes could mean the delivery of a project or the missed deadline for a project. But it could also mean eight minutes more in your day to try something new on an edit, to try something you've never done before, to be more creative. That's what we want to do here. We want to be more creative. We want to work smarter, not harder, and level up our skills every single time. And being creative is, it's the best way to do that because you learn something every single time. Now, before we get onto the next part of the video, if you are enjoying this video, which I sincerely hope you are, then you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, give this video a like, and you know, maybe write a comment as to what you might want to see in the next video as well. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not as plain and simple as just picking one up and going for it because everybody's used to using a mouse. It, they've been doing it since they were in school. But it is intuitive once you pick it up, once you've had a few edit sessions and you've been using a Wacom, it will become second nature. I don't use a mouse for editing whatsoever. I haven't done it in years because this just saves me so much more time. It feels more intuitive. It feels more natural to be in my hands like a pen. And that for me makes my editing experience so much more efficient. Okay, so with all of that in mind, which Wacom tablet should you choose? Well, that kind of depends on what setup you have and ultimately the decision is yours and this list that I'm gonna give you right now is all Wacom because they are the brand that I prefer to use, having used them for many years now. They just work. They really do just work. There's no charging of the stylus. It's, it's simple, there's no latency. It's ultra, ultra high quality. So Wacom for me, they are the go-to, but there are other graphics tablet brands around. Um, so take this uh, as you will, but it really does depend on how many screens you have is what I would say. Now, if you do have one particularly uh, large size screen, like an Apple, Apple cinema uh, display connected to a uh, Apple mini, for example, then the Wacom Intuos Medium would be a great starting tablet for you and it's not too highly priced either it retails for around 150 to 200 dollars which is really quite good for a graphics tablet now if you have a dual screen setup which i highly recommend if you don't already then i would go for something a little bit larger and the intuos pro large 
is something that I've used for years and it is a great tablet to get started with, especially with the dual screen setup. You can't go wrong with it and it comes with the Intuos, uh, with the Wacom Intuos 2 stylus now and that retails for around $400 to $500. Uh, that's what I've been looking at at the time of recording this. Um, it, it fluctuates, but that's roughly what you can get it for. Now for larger setups, or if you want to be able to see your screen within the tablet, that's right, it is possible, then you need to look at the Cintiq range of Wacom tablets. They have um, a screen, a HDMI screen inside the tablet so that you can, if you're doing like masking in Photoshop or After Effects or whatever it is, um, then you can do it on the screen with your pen. You can get much more accurate, fine-tuned masking points by doing it that way. Now the Cintiqs are an, another level up, they're a little bit more expensive and there are a range. Then you're looking at anywhere from $1,500 for a 16-inch tablet all the way up to $3,300 for a 32-inch tablet. Um, it's kind of roughly around a hundred dollars per inch of screen real estate. Now let me know in the comments below if you have a Wacom already, if you're going to get a Wacom, um, and how you find working with it in video editing, whether it makes you more efficient, more creative, um, because that's all part of working smarter and not harder. That's what we do at DigiPro Tips. And you know, if you liked this video, found it useful, then you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you in the next video. Ultimately, ultimately, ultimately lead to, I cannot say that, whack up Cintiq. Ultimately lead to, ultimately lead, 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 lead. Ultimately lead to, ultimately lead to being a better editor.